Hello, dear ones. It's Alice. I'm of the stars. And I've been talking a little about, about the incoming light and the stress on groups and how the glom effect is happening and what followers can do in groups to avoid being, uh, being at the effect of the glom situation and to avoid following the subconscious commands arising from the soul wounding of the leaders of the groups and also what leaders can consider doing to mitigate the stress effect on them. And now I'd like to talk a little about Ascended Masters, a very touchy topic because many people are very loyal to Ascended Masters, a group that's devoted to an Ascended Master I'd like to say is putting the same kind of stress on that Ascended Master who is in the astral plane right now uh, as are the members of groups with a physical person in charge on Earth. In general, an Ascended Master is a man, generally whose soul is now experiencing life on the astral plane. The astral plane is part of the world of duality. Okay, so, so his experience of, if his awareness is in the astral plane, his experience of the astral plane will be dual. If he's in experiencing the heaven worlds on the astral plane, he will also be experiencing the hell worlds. If he's experiencing the purgatory worlds, as many people not ascended masters are, it would be a little bit less dual of a situation. He would probably be experiencing upper purgatory and lower purgatory, kind of less of a gradient or delta. But the ascended master, like the old light worker, experiences a much greater range of duality in the third and fourth dimensions. Uh, for more on this, you can look up old light worker as a term on my blog. Um, and keeping in mind that this is only in the third and fourth dimensions, whereas in the fifth and higher dimensions, the ascended master is quite radiant and beautiful. Okay, so what we have to do is contact, if we want to contact an Ascended Master, contact him not on the thinking or emotional planes. Contact him higher than that. And the people that he refers to, the beings that he refers to, higher up. We need to contact the higher dimensions. So, so, but many people don't do this. They think of an Ascended Master as a personality that exists on the astral plane. And this really puts the heat on him, just like uh, look, followers looking up to the leader of a physical group on Earth put immense stress on the, um, on the leader of a physical group, right? So, but uh, on the astral plane, where there's nothing to stand between the thought forms of the followers and the receptive mechanism of the ascended master on the astral plane. There's nothing to stand between that. He's constantly barraged by these thought forms. And he himself has two aspects. He has his own soul wounding to deal with. And that soul wounding has attracted people, followers to him all over the world who have similar resonance of soul wounding. So whatever small, tiny, like soul wounding aspects he has will be reverberating through the group and, and causing those issues in the group. That's why I say it's better to let the Ascended Masters be right now and move on, let our own souls speak to our own teams our own celestial ascension teams and take the heat off of the ascended masters let them perfect their their astral form and and merge it with the with the higher dimensions now this is their job now and and we can keep their soul wounding very actively in the hell worlds if we keep asking them for help when we should be asking higher up
That's what I feel. If you will look carefully into the teachings of any ascended master, you will m most likely find that they themselves related directly to, to source and to God or to the angelic realm. They looked up. And you can follow their teachings by looking up to spirit to team. Okay. And and then later, when, it, when it's all worked out and when it's all like resolved in this, this ongoing process of gearing up of, to, the, to the vibration of earth and the incoming life, then that old loyalty and that old friendship with the ascended master of your, your, of your choice can be resumed. I hope this makes some sense, you know, of what is going on. I... I uh, I, I wish you the very best in your ascension efforts. Okay. So God bless you all in peace and love and light.